we want to create a table on a website. When we enter the user email and password, it will read from the database in SQL Server. When we submit the information, it will verify the data stored in the database. The document will prompt the error message. After the change, submit again. Now the message will confirm the password. Now, let us study how to create a table. For this table, the first row has only one column. Centralized the title. We need the input bar to enter the information. Finally, we also need a button to submit the information. It is a normal practice to set up the basic structure of an HTML document before we code. To begin with, we place the table tag. Then, inside the table, we place the row tag. We repeat for the additional rows. Now, we place the column tag. The first row has only one column. The second row has two columns. The subsequent rows have two columns, two. The center tags align the table to the middle of the page. To move the table to the middle of the page, you need to place the whole set of code of the table inside the center tags. Set the border and decide the width of the table. Type the titles to appear on the table. Specify the column span of row 1. It has only one column. Align the title to the middle. Set the input bar to the right column on row 2. Input element must consist of type, ID, and name. Set required so that it is a must-fill bar. Repeat the same to the next input.
you need to submit all your inputs above for further processing. Write submit as the type in your input. The input with the type of submit will appear as a button. Write what you want to appear on the button as the value. Lastly, right-click to view the output. Let us look at the practice. Create an HTML file to show the table. Try to do it yourself before looking at the code. Lastly, let us take a glance at the suggested codes.